I appreciate you noticing. Mario, he sat down with me for hours that day. And he really taught me about my face. And he taught me so many things. Things that I put into practice every day now that I was not doing before. And yes, you may notice some differences in my appearance and makeup because of that. But let me show you some of these different techniques I've been using. I've done a video on this already, so I'm going to be a bit quick about it. If you want the full video, it's under my Mario X Michaela playlist. I've been doing my brows completely different. I take the Makeup by Mario brow gel and I run it deep into my brow hairs. I get it in backwards, forwards, up, down. I really make sure it's saturated in there. Now the biggest change you've seen with my brows is the shape. Forget your tail. I literally shave it off now. I shave off the tail of my brow and I just do a lift on the brows rather than going down. It makes a big difference. Is that gonna work for every face shape? No, but it sure as hell works for mine. Then I'm gonna push the brow hairs up. I'm gonna push them up all the way and then sculpt it down. Dry it with a fan. And then I just fill it in with pencil. Mario told me to go lighter with my brow color because it makes me look less like a bitch. I'm just kidding, he didn't say that. <laughs> but that is kind of true. When I'm filling them in, I'm drawing completely upwards, keeping that lift. Clean up with concealer underneath. I love these brows on me. I think they look phenomenal. I think they look so perfect on my face shape. Now when I contour, you guys know I go like this. That's pat laziness. <laughs> But what Mario does is so much better, of course. He takes a brush, takes some of the contour, and slowly just fluffs it into the skin and fluffs it upwards, fluffing up and keeping it on that cheekbone. And by doing it right after foundation, it melts right in. And it really looks like it's just a pad of your face. And then you go back in with your foundation just to really melt it together. And it just looks so natural. I have a big round forehead. He, you know, and it goes back a little bit. He really focused on these outer corner pats of my forehead and just kind of gave them a little bit of contour. Now, what I thought was interesting, he did not touch my nose. And he was like, Michaela, I'm not going to contour your nose because I love it. I love your nose. It is perfect. And I was like, huh? <laughs> but that made me feel really good about myself. Then he set the face with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Powder. I love this powder, as you can see, and I thought it was really cool that he was using it because I know it's a fan favorite of people and it really is a beautiful powder. He takes a fluffy brush and he literally just very lightly taps, very lightly. You know, any way you get this aggressive shine, just very lightly smooth over top and it's gonna look like skin. Love this Charlotte Tilbury brush. It's the powder and sculpt, perfect for this powder. Get right in between the eyebrows and feather it out. I mean, just look at the skin. And we're not even, you know, halfway done. If you want to see the rest, go to Patu.